Okay, this is um, feeding. Oh, gotta step in front of the camera. This is feeding the bees the syrup we just made and um, feeding a uh, boardman feeder. And you girls can hush up, you'll get fed in a minute. The uh, chickens want to get fed too. And yeah, it's a little cold out to be doing this, so they might be a little pissy, but I don't think they'll break cluster if I don't break into their comb. So we'll find out if missiles come out. Well, no missiles, we're okay. So their feeder here is still good. I'm gonna take this off so you can see in there. This is the feeder that came with the package. It's still pretty darn full. Um, these are the Boardman feeders. They actually fit on the front of the hive and stick in so they can come and eat from there and you can refill them from outside the hive. But since it's cool out, I'm placing them inside of here. And the syrup I made, I just make sure it's cool enough before I feed it to them because I don't want them burning themselves. And pretty simple, you dump the syrup into the containers. And, oh, there's a darn ant. Kill that, I don't want those getting in here. Ants will ruin a bee colony. And if I see ants inside here when I look at it later today, I will end up putting little um, Vaseline stands, put little legs on the bottom of the stand with Vaseline so they can't get in there. And basically there's a bunch of little holes in these feeders the sugar drips out of. The bees can get inside here to access them. So you just tip it upside down, leak a little bit until it gets suction, set it right there. This is a better one, it's a bigger container. So the bees should be super happy to have some fresh, oh, forgot to smell and make sure we don't have um, alcohol going there. We don't need drunk bees. Sugar syrup will ferment and get icky black stuff in it. If it does, get rid of it. They'll keep on drinking the syrup until they get a food source of their own. Shh, shh. Anyhow, it's the same thing with holes. Bees get up through this little hole in here. Just like that. Like that. Okay, we'll set that one right there. They're starting to come up in the frame. I think they know there's new sugar. I'm going to make sure they know, and I'm just going to trickle a little down in there, just a little, let them know the feeders are full again. I don't have to do that, they'll find it, but whatever. Anyhow, oops, they're getting a little riled up over that. So I'll put the cover back on, here I'll let you see inside the hive. You can see some activity down there. There's one that's located a feeder right here. Your little tongue's out there looking away. And they love sugar water. Anyhow, I'm not going to break into the hive body of this hive right now because it's just too cool and it would be too unhealthy for them and they'd be really nasty. I don't want them to have to break cluster. So, basic, make sure everything's lined up straight again. Oops, sorry ladies. buzzing around. It's not so cold they're coming out and dropping so that's a good sign. It's probably about 40 some degrees out. Anyhow, put the lid back on. And that can go right there for right now. Right here. And then with this, go Put it, keep it in the fridge so it stays good 
or fill up your hummingbird feeders with it. And that is all. That's how you feed with Boardman feeders inside a hive body.